look what I've got here today for you. The new Ica Multimedia Tone X pedal. And without further ado, let's have a listen to some of the sounds.
were some of the tones of the Alka Multimedia Tone X pedal. Now let's have a listen if you're going to change the settings of the captured sounds. And there it gets interesting because you can imagine the amp pedal and cap capture as kind of a picture. And if you Photoshop a picture, you can only Photoshop it so far till it looks like Photoshop, right? And so, in my opinion, this also is the case with the Tone X, because it don't model amps in the traditional way, but it's doing a amp pedal and cap capture, it is like a snapshot or a picture of the real rig. And if you want to tweak it to your taste, you can only do it slightly. If you do it too far, too much, then it starts getting kind of photoshopped, which means, in my opinion, it starts to lose its character because it has its definitive sound out of the capture no matter how you tweak it. It will retain the overall sound and the overall gain structure etc. So if you do it in a large amount it doesn't sound natural anymore to my ears. Let me show you with one preset that is really, really, really high gain and even very much over the top. So I will use the stock settings first, which is gain at 7.5. And you hear at the background noise, you already hear it has a fairly, fairly high amount of gain and it's pretty unusable for my taste. If I want to shape it so that I can use it, maybe you are different, but I can use it. I need to dial back the gain very, very much, quite a lot. I will show you after that. First we go with gain 7.5 and then we go with gain 2.5 which is my setting and then again with gain at around 1, 1 1.1, 1 1.2 something like that and you will hear that it will lose its character and it doesn't sound punchy, natural, whatever you might call it anymore. Let's have a listen.
Like I said, in my opinion, it just starts losing character. And it gets worse. If you start using the EQ, the equalization, then it loses even more character. Okay, that is just my opinion. Yours may differ. What is Tonex for? It's for tone captures, right? Me, personally, I don't do tone captures because I don't have any real amps here to capture. Maybe you are different, you have a lot of amps, a lot of pedals, a lot of cabinets you want to capture. Tonex is for sure the thing to go for you. For me, for my use, I'm not already pretty sure that it fits for my taste because the tweaking for me is kind of odd. You need to find a capture that already matches all your needs and that is hard to find. You need to listen to a lot of captures, presets, etc, etc, takes a lot of time. And then you cannot really tweak it, like I mentioned, to your taste, because it starts losing its character, what it is all about, with that capture. That is different to traditional amp modeling, where the amp and the amp behavior, and maybe even the amp cap behavior, is modeled. So there you can tweak it quite a lot. The amp starts reacting different if you dial it down or if you dial it up, if you change the EQ. The amp, sorry, the cap simulation, the cap modeling starts to sound different, to react different if you change parameters. So maybe I'm not quite sure about Tone X for my personal use, but your mileage may differ. See you soon.